In this lesson, I want to very briefly discuss how to use grep with cert strings and files. We're really only going to look at a couple of switch options for grep in this lesson. We'll be looking in future lessons at how to pass regular expressions to grep. But for now, I just want to show you really four ways to use grep to search for text and files. So the first thing I've done is I've brought up a command prompt and I'm in a subdirectory where I have some JavaScript files that I want to look at. The two files I'm going to look at are ttt.js, which stands for tic-tac-toe, and ttt1.js, which was the beginning of a revision of that program. I won't open the files for you, but just understand that they hold several lines of JavaScript code each. Now what I want to do is search for a particular object in each one of these files and how many times it's referenced. In these files, I created a virtual tic-tac-toe board in JavaScript, and I'd like to be able to see where in those two files the term board is referenced. So the easiest way to do it is just to grep the literal string board on those files, like that. And when I run that command, we get the following returns. So as you'll see, the word board, or the object board is referenced several times. It's actually an array, as you can tell by some of the source code here. So that's the simplest way to use grep, is just to provide a cert string followed by a list of files. Another thing we might do is see what line numbers the board array pops up in these files. So to do that, we'll pass it the in switch. So notice how we do that. We write the keyword grep followed by a dash, and then this particular switch is in for line number, followed by the cert string and the files that we're looking for. When we run that, you see the line numbers. In the ttt.js file, it's in 8, 16, 20, 23, several places. In ttt1, we see it in the following line numbers. So that's very useful to be able to specify where in the file your matches are found. Now, one other option that we might give to grep is just a count of how many times our search string is found in the target. So let's run it again, this time with the C switch. And here you see that in ttt.js, the phrase board is found 27 times. And in the file ttt1.js, the phrase board is found 23 times. So those are three different ways to use grep. Alone, like that, with line numbers, like so, and then finally, with just a count. There are, of course, many, many more ways to use grep, but this is not a course on using grep. We're just using grep as a tool to work with regular expressions. So as we go through each chapter and each discussion of a new regular expression feature, I'll first describe and demonstrate how to use it with grep, and then I'll break down into the different languages that we cover and demonstrate the same principles in a specific language. But it's very nice to be able to use grep as a way to demonstrate the generality of a particular regular expression. So that wraps up this lesson, and we're going to move on to our first lesson where we're going to demonstrate how to use regular expressions in a specific language. And that first language we're going to look at is PHP.